Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a flying flag in Cinema 4D. Okay, first get a plane and then rotate it 90 degrees. And you can make sure the plane's in front of you and shape it kind of in the shape of a flag if you can. Then go to right click it and choose cloth from first make it editable and select the points. Um, choose area select and choose the leftmost points so they're all highlighted. Then choose dresser, fix points, and set. That way, these points will not move and will be like the pole of the flag, and they'll be connected to the pole. Then, um, yeah. Then choose forces, wind strength. Change that to say five. Expert self collision and then cache calculate cache and that will take a little bit of time. It's, you can see it's now just waving in the wind, blowing in the wind. Self collision made sure that the flag would not go through itself. So now we can just pick frame and we'll look kind of choppy. So for that, we'll take hypernerbs, drag the plane or the flag into that. Now, let me go here. Oops, sorry. And render it, it looks much smoother. Now, to add a little scenery to it, we can choose oil tank. Radius about 10 and height 1000. Then try to align it as much as possible to the fixed points as much as you can. Now we can add some color to the flag, make it blue, drag that to the flag and make a new material to make that kind of black, gray, and add that to the pole. So what you have now is this. Now we'll go up here, add a floor, and choose objects, null, object. And take the oil tank and the flag and drag them both under null object. That way now, if you drag it, you can select both. And create a new material. Make a color, kind of a dark green. And if you want, you can go into basic, check bump, go to bump, find a texture and get a texture similar to grass, or just type in, in Google bump map grass or something, and I got this. We'll create kind of a somewhat bumpy surface on the texture, and then drag it onto the floor. So what you have is the flag and the floor. Now to make this as realistic, go into objects, sky, create sky. And you can play around with most of it. I usually like atmosphere and clouds checked. Go to weather preset. Yeah, take a dark one as it's windy. 
and just play around with the settings until it looks like something that you like. Make sure your shadow type under sun is area. That's the most realistic type. The other ones are not nearly as realistic, but a lot take a lot slower, I mean faster to render. Area takes a lot slower, depends how much you have, how much detail you have in the picture. Then you can just look at these things and then you can render it, just to check every now and then. You can tell it takes a little longer. You can see the shadow right there. From that, you can tell the sun's off to the left. And when you like it, I kind of like it here, just go up to render settings, full render output. You want to make sure it's the 90 frames or uh, how many ever frames you have. Save, choose a movie or something. I'll do quick time movie. Um, you can look at the other settings, I don't really know much about them. And, oh, wait. Choose where you want to save it, of course. Um, drag. And, there's this one. You can choose different settings in the region if you have a, um, a really complicated picture and it would take too long to render the whole thing but we'll just click on it once and it will render the scene as you can tell down here that's how many frames you have rendered that's how many you're going to render that's the size that it will come out as and that's basically just rendering each frame at a time so thank you